What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Ju, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I'd like to recap yesterday's game versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content or NFL content. If you'd like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Sports. If you'd like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign Jew Talk Sports. And if you'd like to be a part of my Jew Talk Sports membership, you can hit that join tab here on the channel as well. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So as I mentioned, I do want to recap uh, yesterday's game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers did win the game by a score of 18 to 10. And I do first want to take my hats off to Mike Tomlin and the Pittsburgh Steelers. He had those guys prepared to play. And Pittsburgh was the better team yesterday. They had a better game plan than we had coming into the game. And uh, they were able to come out with the victory. Um, but with that being said, I do want to give my thoughts um, on uh, the Atlanta Falcons pros and cons from yesterday's game. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is the Atlanta Falcons offense. Um, and the first thing that stood out to me, and I mentioned this yesterday uh, during the post game show, was that the Falcons played a lot of uh, pistol. We came out of the, in the pistol formation and we played most of uh, the game on offense in that pistol formation, which was really uh, shocking for me to see until I watched Sunday night football last night uh, between the LA Rams and the Detroit Lions. And if you guys remember, um, our offensive coordinator, Zach Robinson, is a disciple or comes off of that Sean McVay tree. Um, he was one of the coaches with the L.A. Rams last year, as well as Raheem Morris being a defensive coordinator for the L.A. Rams. And Jimmy Lake uh, also comes from over uh, with the L.A. Rams coaching staff. So after watching um, Sunday Night Football yesterday and seeing the Rams run a lot of pistol formation, it, I understood why the Atlanta Falcons came out running that pistol formation because Zach Robinson uh, comes from that Sean McVay tree. He runs a similar style offense to Sean McVay. If you watched the game last night between the Detroit Lions and the Rams, they played out of the pistol formation a lot too with Matthew Stafford. So I do believe that this is just um, some of the blueprint and some of the things that Zach Robinson took from Coach Sean McVay that he's bringing to Atlanta. Now, it doesn't mean that I think that we should continue to play out of the pistol like we did in this first game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. I do believe that we're going to have to mix things up uh, at times because Kirk Cousins is best when he plays under center, when he's able to use the play action pass to keep the defense off balance. So I really feel like um, that we're going to have to reevaluate um, Zach Robinson and how he's caused, you know, caused the offense and things of that nature. Um, but I now understand why we came out in the pistol formation. I've been hearing a lot of different things, especially after the show yesterday. You heard uh, guys like Greg Olson, who was calling the game, uh, stating that well, maybe Kirk Cousins isn't healthy and that's why they don't have him under center. But then after watching the Rams play last night and, and watching Sean McVay call plays, they ran a similar style offense as well, where they played a ton out of the pistol as well. So it looks like that's just one of the formations in this style of offense that they play and that they like to run both Zach Robinson and uh, Sean McVay. But personally, I think that they're going to have to mix things up a little bit. He's going to have to run uh, some I formation. He's going to have to run uh, some um, play action pass. He's going to have to also allow Kirk Cousins to play out of the shotgun. But we're not going to be able to just play out of the pistol only that they're going to have to, you know, make some adjustments. Now, another thing that I noticed in the game, and I really feel like this was the deciding factor in the game, was the turnover battle. I talked about it heading into this game and my keys to victory um, that the Falcons were not going to be able to turn the ball over and win this football game. And we did lose the turnover battle. Uh, Kirk Cousins threw two interceptions. Uh, we also had the snap uh, fumble as well that was recovered by J.J. Watt. So that was one of the reasons and the main reason why the Atlanta Falcons lost this game was because we turned the ball over. That was the difference in the football game is we gave uh, the Steelers uh, multiple cracks at our defense. Even though our defense played really well, didn't allow any touchdowns, 
We gave the ball up multiple times in our own territory because of turnovers, which came back to bite us. The second thing that um, really stood out as well um, is that we kept getting penalties at the wrong time. And this was something that we talked a little bit about yesterday in the after show as well, the post game show, is that you can't afford to get behind the chains, especially when you're playing a team like the Pittsburgh Steelers, where they make their bread and butter on rushing the passer. And that really allowed those guys to pin their ears back uh, because we kept getting in third and 10 plus. They were able to allow TJ Watt to pin his ears back and he was giving uh, Kayla McGarry and our offensive line all they could handle. So I really feel like moving forward, um, you know, to litigate some of the issues that we had, we're going to have to be better on first and second down of gaining positive yardage. And we're going to have to be better and more disciplined at not getting, you know, uh, penalties, the, the legal formation type penalties, the holding penalties, the discipline penalties, the false starts and stuff like that. You can't afford to have any of those type of plays. You're going to have to limit those uh, penalties if you're going to want to win uh, these games moving forward. So that was two of the main things that stood out to me in the game. Um, to me, the defense played really well and the special teams played really well. It was mainly our offense kind of stalling at times because of either penalties or the turnovers is really what came back to bite us in this game against um, the Pittsburgh Steelers. I really feel like those were the two main reasons why we lost the game. Um, we were able to score a touchdown in the game. Young Wei Koo made his field goals in this game. So um, Bradley Pinion punted the ball really well. And our kick and return coverage was really, really good in the game. So the main thing that stood out was that the offense pretty much struggled uh, throughout the game and stalled out at, at multiple times during the game. Now, another thing that I want to see heading into this next game against the fist, uh, against the Philadelphia Eagles is us throwing the ball and pushing the ball down the field a little bit. I really feel like we need to use the play action pass and we need to take deep shots down the field to push, um, allow those uh, safeties to stop creeping up in the box to try to you know stop that run game. And I really feel like we're going to have to use Drake London's ability to go up and high point the football, similar to what. The Pittsburgh Steelers did with George Pickens going up against A.J. Terrell. It's not any guy uh, in the league that can stop Drake London one-on-one -on -one as far as catching those 50-50 balls. So I really feel like we're going to have to do a better job at getting him involved in the next game, allowing Darnell Mooney to use that speed to take the top off the defense and also allow Kyle Pitts to take advantage of, you know, crossing routes and things of that nature across the middle of the field. And also him using his athletic ability against linebackers and safeties. Uh, but with that being said, you guys give me your thoughts on the recap uh, for this game. Like I said, those were the main things that stood out to me in the game. The turnovers were, to me, the biggest reason why we lost the game. Um, and the penalties were, you know, to me, the backbreaker in this game. So with that being said... You guys give me your thoughts. I have a lot more content coming for you guys. But as always, Falcons Nation, rise up, be blessed. Peace.